welcome to another episode of the Food Bloggers Kitchen. Today, I want to show you how to make my traditional birthday cake. It is a white cake topped with like, I said topped, topped with like a nice like cream cheese chocolate frosting. You're going to love it. Let's go over and get started. So I have some granulated sugar, uh, flour, baking soda, baking powder, salt, and I have my homemade uh, vanilla cake mix. I'll put a link to it so you can go ahead and have it in your recipe repertoire. And I have some softened butter, uh, eggs, sour cream, oil, vanilla, and yeah. And, and milk as well, so I almost forgot that. So, uh, what, what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go ahead and stir up these dry ingredients, and then I'm gonna sift them because we forgot. So, this is, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. It's pretty easy. All you do is just stir this up, sift it, and I'll show you once we get there. So, I have everything sifted in there, and I'm going to and make sure you stir up like everything, like the sugar and baking powder, just because you don't, you don't want like one lump there, one lump there. So, just make sure it's all mixed together, even after you sift it. That's one thing to know. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in my softened butter. And I'm gonna cream this. So this method that I'm using is called reverse creaming. Normally you'll see people, uh, <laughs> creaming, I'm sorry. Normally you'll have, uh, it's like a little joke of my family and I, but normally you'll uh, cream the butter and the sugar together. And then you add the eggs and the flour and stuff, but we're just doing like the traditional method, which is, which is a reverse creaming method. So I'm gonna just mix everything, kind of like on a medium speed just until it resembles almost like, kind of like sand, sand. I'll just show you whenever we get there. All right, so it's kind of what you want. You can look in there. It's nice and fine crumbs like that. And a little bit of a background, just in case like you're new here about my vanilla cake mix. I actually uh, made it, or kind of like, I guess you say, invented it, or like my own cake mix. Like a few years ago, I got the idea from uh, someone that I watch on YouTube, but I, of course, you know, I made it my own and did some tweaking and stuff like that to uh, uh, make it to my standards and how I like it. And it's so good. Like, you know, I made um, a uh, uh, cake mix cookies. I made a uh, cake mix cake, like a marble cake. Um, it's one of my older videos, probably about four months ago, um, four or five months ago. But um, yeah, it's really, really good. And it's very convenient to have on hand just in case I can say, oh, I'm about to have a bake sale, right? Like I say, you forgot to get cake mix. If you if you usually use it like Betty Crocker, or let's say you're about to have dinner, right? But like I say, you have a few hours. You can go ahead and get the mix just like Betty Crocker, but better. Pour some in the bowl, and then you can uh, add eggs and stuff to it, and just like just the same as the store, but better. So what I did here is I went ahead and I added my eggs and stuff to the mixture, the oil and eggs and stuff, and sour cream. Uh, don't skip the amount of sour cream in this recipe, you need that uh, that richness and uh, you, you just really need it, okay? So don't skip it, all right? And so you're gonna pour in just a little bit at a time. So we're gonna pour in about almost, almost about half of it. And I'm just gonna mix it in, mix it in and then uh, we'll add it in at the end. And I'll show you the last step before we bake it. Right. Okay guys, so what I did was I just, uh, made sure and I mixed in, you know, of course, half each, each half in, and I make sure to scrape the bottom down. And if it gets thick in the beginning, don't be afraid, just scrape the bottom down, kind of fold it in, get all the flour, coat it in, and then add the next batch, you know, fold, you know, mix it in, fold it in. And so the last step, excuse me, I don't know what's going on right here. Okay, the, la the last step to this cake batter is just to mix it for about two to three minutes. And the reason why is because you wanna uh, really, uh, create those air pockets, but also you want to create the gluten, uh, gluten, the gluten inside of this cake because that's what really gives it its structure and its crumb. And you'll see the beautiful crumb once it, once you bake it. So go ahead, mix it for about two to three minutes. But also before you go, I'll show you this. I have two 12 by eight baking pan. This one's a little bit bigger, but it's like the same. Like, like the only difference is like a half inch, so it's the same. And they're lined. You can show it. Go ahead and show them. They're lined with, but they're buttered on the sides and the bottom in lemon parchment paper. And so I'm just going to divide them in between two. You can use a scale if you want to, but I don't do that. I just do it by eye. It just makes it easier on me. And so, like I said, I'm going to mix this for two to three minutes until it's nice and like a little bit thicker. Okay, so we're going to do, I'm going to give it one last stir. You can see, come here real quick. It's a little thicker than it was before. And that's how you want it. And we get those herb bubbles in there. I'm telling you, this, this cake is so good. I mean, I make it like a lot. Let me put this over here real quick. Hold on. 
Yeah, like I, I make it so much. Like it's like it's so good. Like I made it for a bake sale that sold out. I made it for my family. <laughs> they ate it all. I mean, and that frosting, it's so light, it's so fluffy, and you don't need, um, it, it, it's so light and so fluffy, and you really just need uh, just really good elbow grease for this cake. You know, you really need good elbow grease just to mix it up, you know, you know so it's not really time consuming, as you can see, but you do need a lot of elbow grease just to be able to mix it up. So let's go ahead and show you how to portion them. And as I said, I just eyeball it, but if you really want to be precise, go ahead and get you uh, a scale and do like that but I don't do that so I just start with like a little bit I'm gonna put like the same portion like I did in that one and then I kind of just go back and forth until it looks even and if you have to take some from one pan and put it in the other then uh, do that just kind of do it by your eye by your taste um, that's just what I do I don't try to make it not too hard especially for you guys and whoever else makes it my family like if they want to make this cake like if I'm not here or something like that, then they can do that. So, and this does, like, if, as you can tell, this does make two cakes. Um, I don't know if I would, I probably wouldn't pour it all into one big square pan just because you don't want it to overflow or anything like that. But so just go with two, and also two, two, two cake means a lot more cake for you to have too. So, you know, one for you and then one for the family. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what I do. Just Go ahead, <laughs> go ahead and get everything like this. And come here, I'm gonna show you one, one last time. So just get them all nice and leveled and stuff. Tap them. I wanna, I wanna go ahead and put it in my oven for 20 minutes and just until they're nice and cooked all the way through. Use a fork, I'll show you whenever we get there. And then, yeah, I'm about to make the frosting as well, so. All right guys, so we have already had dinner and uh, the cake's already cooled and stuff like that. You can go ahead and look at these right here. All nice and golden brown, and my I'm using like my little uh, let me show you. Oh no, don't, don't look over there actually. <laughs> I'm using like my, my new little oven, so I'm still trying to get it like worked out. But in a regular oven, it should take 19 to 20 minutes. Uh, but this one will just look a little bit longer just because it's still breaking it in. But you should always just bake it at to, uh, 19 to 20 minutes. Okay, so let's go over let's go over the greens for the uh, oh, recipe. I mean for the uh, frosting. So in this bowl, I have powdered sugar and cocoa and salt. They've all been sifted, and then I have some cream cheese that's been softened, some butter that's been softened, and then some vanilla extract. So I'm going to go ahead and just start by creaming the butter and the uh, cream cheese together. And you want to make sure that these are nice and room temperature. What I do is I try to like just uh, sit it out like the night before. Uh, with some plastic bag, of course, but today we just kind of sit it out before we started, and so it was all good. And so I'm going to whip this up for about two to three minutes. And then, uh, along with the vanilla extract, of course. And then, I also, I forgot to mention, I also have some heavy cream. Um, just kind of sitting by the side, just in case I need some extra liquid. Um, I use heavy cream because, you know, whenever you do whip it, it whips up really nice and fluffy. So that's why I use that. But if you don't have it, you can just use milk. So just go ahead and start whipping this up. And then I'll show you whenever uh, we get done with that. Okay, so um, I actually accidentally went ahead and put uh, some of the... Uh, mixture in there already, like the uh, powdered sugar mixture. So I'm just putting, I'm just gonna do like probably like a couple cups at a time, just to make sure I get all the way mixed all the way through. And so um, I just keep it kind of like a, at a steady speed. I, I, like I said, I mixed it for about two to three minutes uh, on about a medium speed, medium high speed, just just to get everything like nice, nice mixed together, but also really nice and fluffy. All right, guys, give it one last little mix and see how nice and it's still nice and, uh, it's not like loose, like it's runny, but it's like nice and just soft. Soft. <laughs> that was really slow. Okay, so you get this, this off. <laughs> and then you give it a little whip, you can rub it off for you. Mm, mm, hold on. Mm, mm. Okay. And so we're gonna give it one last little swoosh around. Quick down, and don't get me wrong. This it's not. It may be like looking like nice and like loose, look, but it's it is pretty thick. Look, come here. Look at the thickness. It's thick, like four C's in there. Yes. Mm. Okay. And if you're not a cream cheese lover, let me go ahead and just help your spirit because you can't you can't really taste the cream cheese. 
And my recipe, I'll go ahead and tell you now, I only use a half a stick of cream cheese. I know I'm so aggressive right now, but I only use I only, I only use a half a stick of cream cheese in my frosting. Um, and then, of course, the two, uh, two sticks of butter like you saw. But it's really not like, you can't really taste it. It's like I made it to where it's like perfect. You know, you still get the cream cheese in there. You get the tanginess, like the good tanginess, but it's like, it's not like too overpowering, you know, and you don't want that in your frosting. So I'm just going to go ahead and stir this up just for a second. Get every last bit of powdered sugar in there. And if you have any lumps or whatsoever, just take that last couple minutes and just kind of whip it, you know. Uh, and I only used about three tablespoons of uh, heavy cream throughout this whole process. Uh, don't worry, I have everything written on like the recipe. And also and too in the description below. Woo! Okay, so I want to show you how to do one. I'm going to go ahead and just do this one because it's, really, it's kind of plump, you know. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and just, that's how you want to do it. Just kind of, just pop it on there. And if you, you can use um, like a star tip or whatever you want to use, but guys, just keep it real simple. Don't try to hurt your spirit. Just, you know, really just do it easy. You know, this is not rocket science. It is a science, but it's not rocket science, okay? Just take your time. And so I go all the way to the edges, and then this is what I do at the end. Okay, come here, come close. This is what I do. So I kind of just do like, I used to work at a bakery here and uh, and where I live and I just kind of do like little little swooshes like little like zigzags it just gives it a little something you know because you're not using a tip or anything so you're you know you're just kind of doing it like that little zigzags in there okay okay just like so you can go back you can go back over the ones you already did and then kind of just overlap them a little bit just take your time probably go slower than me but see what you want yummy 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 okay and then for the sprinkles i am using just some great value sprinkles i am using those fancy sprinkles some people probably pay ten dollars for these sprinkles i'm just gonna pay a few dollars okay you know what i'm saying if i want the fancy sprinkles then i'll go ahead and get them but these are perfect they don't taste like weird or anything they're just they're just right and so this is going to go on the sides like that go all the way around you can do it however you want to this is just how i do it not everybody likes sprinkles you know so it's perfect and this is my should this is not traditional but this is my version of a birthday cake nice simple delicious I already got my plate over there so i'm ready okay so i'm just going to get me a little which side, which side should I get? Should I get this side? Which one do you think? Point to which one do you think I should get? Mm, this one right there. Mm -hmm. I was kind of eyeing it because I have sprinkles over there. Mm -hmm. So let me go. I used to. Mm -hmm. so let's go ahead and. Ooh, it's so nice and soft. And you don't need a big piece, y'all. No. Don't worry, I'll get one whenever you get off the camera. So don't worry. I ain't that. I know, I'm nice, but I ain't like that. Because I gotta make sure I get mine. All right. I'm trying to. Uh oh, wait. I think it's the parchment paper. All right. You can totally take yours off if you need to, but I just wanna. I just wanna show y'all the inside. All right. I think that's a good enough piece for me for now. <laughs> you'll see in the you'll see in the thumbnail. I'll probably serve it with some vanilla bean ice cream because I got some in there. Now I'll talk to them the recipe, so. Okay, let's go ahead and give it a bite. Mmm. If you got some milk, too, go ahead and use that for your cake, okay? Mmm. 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 Just like I remember. Let me go get, get, get close. Please get close. You see how nice and fluffy it is? This is why you gotta mix it. This is why you gotta mix it at the end, because uh, that way you can get that nice... Um, fluffy interior and nice crumb. Look at them crumbs, y'all. Ooh, 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 ooh. Mmm. Mmm. I'm all, I'm all a mess. <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoy this recipe. You know, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And I hope that you're going to enjoy the recipe whenever you try it. Um, the recipe will be up, uh, it should be up right now whenever you see this at 11.30 a.m. 
Um, if you don't follow my, if you have not signed up for my newsletter on my website, please do so. The link will be in the bio. Everything will be down there. So just go ahead and check it out. I hope that you guys enjoy this video. Like and subscribe. Return, return notifications on. And I'm ready to get back to this cake. So turn notifications on. And I'll see you guys next time in the Food Lovers Kitchen. All right. I got my auntie Shanita. And then I have my mama right there. Mama Irvin. So I want to see what y'all think about the cake. Let the, view, let the viewers know. You know what I'm saying? Y'all like it? Is the cake is the cake moist? Is, is the crumb? Is it? It's good. Thank you so much. Right, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Yes. <laughs> mm, and one more, and one more question is that okay? Can you tell that there's cream cheese in it? And that's what I was letting them know. You can't even tell, can you? It's just like a, it's like a, like, like a little bit of a tang, but it's not like, it just kind of helps to flavor out a little bit. It doesn't really, you know. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> I thank y'all so much, and I'll see you guys next time on the Food Bloggers Kitchen. Bye bye.